Greetings again, I'm John Parker and this is my last little video helping young writers write more effectively for the Barford and Thompson Young Authors Challenge. And this one is all about five little tips for writing. And here they are. <clears throat> write your first draft as a writer, not an editor. Rewrite often. Keep your story believable and true to its world. Use verbs which reveal character. And, hello, hello, here it comes again, rewrite often. So, let's go into those in more detail. First one, write your first draft as a writer, not an editor. It's very easy to be an editor when you write your first draft. Don't, because an editor says things like, you could do better than this, or this needs correcting. That sentence is too short. That sentence is too long. That verb is not good enough. Forget the editor. Be a writer. Get the words down. Be easy on yourself. The main thing is to get something on the page, even though you'll know it needs revising. Words on the page first. That should be what you should say to yourself as you write. Second point, rewrite often. Please welcome the need for rewriting or drafting. I know lots and lots of writers, none of them do anything other than rewrite often. And they discover, as you discover, that each draft will find better words and might find incidents which need more explanation or it will reveal inconsistencies or help you to better ideas. Make friends with redrafting. Good things take time and good writing takes time and drafting helps you create good writing. The third point, keep your story believable and true to its world. <clears throat> now all stories are a genre. They could be fantasy or realistic fiction or narrative verse, or talking animals, or myth, or legend. But whatever genre you're choosing, you're writing about particular characters in a particular world or environment. Now that world or environment will have its own rules and ways of working, even in fantasy. Authors like Roald Dahl, Paul Jennings, and J.K. Rowling write about fantastic things, yet it seems very real and believable. That's because they stick to their own rules of the world they've created. So no improbable crossovers. Don't write realistic fiction which suddenly becomes fantasy. Don't write myth and legend which suddenly becomes narrative verse. I hope you get the picture on that one. Next point, use verbs which reveal character. What do I mean by that? Let's take, say, a scene or a piece of writing in which two characters are walking from A to B. Walking is a very typical, almost bland verb. Look for a verb which displays character. One character might be unhappy. The other character might be very happy and buoyant. And optimistic. So the unhappy character might trudge from point A to point B. The happy character might stride from point A to point B. Very different, aren't they? Those two verbs, yet still talking about the same basic activity. They say very different things about the character, even though they describe the same activity, they reveal character. Or, say, verbs about talking. One character gashes, another one mutters. Very different verbs and they reveal the character of the person we're talking about, the attitude, the mood. Also, they have the virtue of saying in one word what you might have had to say in two or three. She talked very quickly. She gashed one word instead of three. 
that the fewer the words you can use to describe the same thing, the stronger your writing will probably be. Or another verb, looking. One character stares, another one glances. Very different. So, try to use verbs which reflect or reinforce the personality or needs of your character. And lastly, rewrite often. Where have you seen that before? Yes, point two. And I'm emphasizing that again because that is a very, very important part of writing effectively. I've greatly enjoyed giving you these tips. I hope you find them useful. Goodbye and happy writing.